just like that. There we go, and that's a nicer fish. That's what we're waiting for, y'all. We're going to be using a very lightweight topwater popper. That's got a very small, I believe that's a size 8. That could actually be a size 10 hook on it. This is a two pound test, high vis mono. And about a foot and a half up, I'm putting a trout magnet bobber. That's helped me get some casting distance out there. I'm not worried about the strike. You'll see them bust on top of the water and hit your bait. I'm gonna cast that out there and see what that does for us. I'm gonna target around these cattails in the base of grass. I'm trying to see if there's anything on bed to start out with. There we go. There's the first one, y'all. I hope y'all saw that. It came up slowly, saw the bait. Oh, that one's gonna go back in the hard way. But y'all, if you saw that, it came up, saw the bait, and immediately popped it right off the surface. That's what you're looking for. Beautiful. Go get bigger. And you don't just have to fish the bank with this. You can cast out as far as you want. If you guys have been watching my pan fishing videos, the pan fishing series, those are linked below in the description. I prefer the target around the banks and the brush first. There's another one. Because that's where the fish are going to be spawning at. So I'm looking for the bigger ones. Look, it absolutely inhaled that popper yo. Very nice. Let's get that one out. Get this one back on its way. And then let's catch another one, shall we? Beautiful. There are a lot of different options when it comes to the poppers. I've shown you the chartreuse. There's a chartreuse in black. You know, they have uh, different sizes. You can go bigger. There are all kinds of options when it comes to the poppers. Different size bugs. We're going to stick with the chartreuse for right now. It seems to be working. But if we need to, we'll switch it up. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. There's a nice keeper. All right, check that one out, y'all. Beautiful colors. Got it there on the popper. Go get bigger. Beautiful, beautiful morning out here. Got the thermals rolling across the pond. Got some bugs on the pond. I'm already seeing that action. All we gotta do is catch some fish. As I promised y'all, we're going to be showing you all kinds of different techniques this summer on how to get out here and get on these panfish. A lot of these are beginner techniques. A lot of these people have forgotten about and they just don't use it anymore. Even though they are extremely effective. Once we've, there we go. Got them. <laughs> Oh, that one came out of the brush. Not very big, y'all. We can use that one for bait. This is going to catch you every size fish because it's such a small profile. And I could go to the bigger poppers. But I'd like to start with the smaller ones. The other great part about this technique, y'all, is you can do this for any age group. You can set this rig up and hand it off to a youth who will be able to fish it very easily. You can hand it off to someone who may be disabled, um, has never fished before. And, you know, very easy technique to teach them. Just barely twitching the top of the, the pole right there, or your rod. And just waiting for the reaction. The fish is going to let you know that it's on there. It's going to come up and it's going to hit that surface. Once again, I'm casting it in, letting it pause. Kind of that bug that first fell and hit the surface. And I'm just going to twitch it a little bit. I'm trying to give that the attention in case the fish don't immediately see it and typically what happens is sometimes you'll get them to hit as you're twitching it but typically they prefer to hit it on the paws bringing it closer to the structure cool part is sometimes guys as you're fishing this way you actually see them come out of the brush before they hit your bait that's always fun to watch just like that there we go and that's a nicer fish that's what we're waiting for y'all that's exactly what we're waiting for beautiful look at that very nice bluegill right there. Yes, sir. Beautiful. All right. And guys, you will catch some big panfish on this. 
Very nice. Let's let that one go. Let's catch another one, shall we? Now, one of the things you could do is say you're throwing the popper out there and you're getting short striked. It's where they kind of come up and nip at it, but they're not committing. You can take, I like to use the Berkeley Powerbait Crappie Nibbles. This is the chartreuse. I will take that right there and I will actually, and they have different colors. I like this one because it matches the color of my popper. So it looks more natural. I'm just going to put it right there on the hook. And what it will do is they will hang on to that bait just a little bit longer than normal. Gives you a better chance to get a better hook set on them. Now I'd like to know from you guys what type of fishing you all prefer and what you like to watch. And I will do my best to make that content. So please comment below your favorite way to pan fish. And if I don't already have a video out about it, I will make you one. All right, y'all, let's talk setup. So I am using a Shakespeare Ugly Stick Light Pro, okay? And I got that spool with two pound test. I prefer the uh, Trout SOS line. You could do four pound if you want, okay? That is a Fluger President Reel. This is a six foot six, like I said, a Shakespeare Ugly Stick six foot six rod, light line. There is our popper. I got that tipped with a crappie nibble in the chartreuse. And we're going that down to a trout bobber. Once again, we're just trying a little uh, light, ultra light action here. A little top water, fun way to fish. If you've never done it, it is super affordable. The amount of fun you'll have fishing this way, y'all, it will become one of your favorite ways to fish. Trying to mimic, once again, a bug falling into a pond are moving across the surface. So you don't want a ton of activity. You just want enough to get their attention. It's almost a perfect spot. I'm in between those willows. It's kind of a basket. There was the first dip out. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. That's what we're looking for, y'all. Oh, and it came off. Okay, we're gonna cast right back at that same spot. We missed that one. But we might be able to get the next one that might have been with it. We were in the perfect situation, guys. I think we may have set it right over top of a spawning bed there. Because it only took a matter of seconds for that fish to hit it. Got him. Okay, there's a nice one, y'all. Beautiful. Let's get that one in here. All right, look at that. Oh, there it goes. Let's hope it get back in the water. There it goes. That was a nice catch get another one and I'm actually trying to get some bigger bluegills I want to show you guys how to flay them up the right way there we go that's a little one that would be perfect size for bass if you're gonna catch some bass um, you know, what we're showing you here with this as well is this is a quick and easy way to get some bait fish caught to put on a hook to catch bigger bass got him <laughs> that's a smaller one Oh, guys, I got a big bass trying to eat this little fish. Y'all, we caught that little bluegill and a massive bass tried to eat it. Now, I'm trying to see if that bass is still in the same area. I don't know if I'd be able to land it on this line. Different type of pop, top water fishing right here, y'all. Top water fishing with a live bluegill. Well, almost live bluegill. There we go. There's a nice fish. There's a decent fish right there, y'all. All right, beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. Nice, beautiful. Let's let that one go. The reason I'm targeting this section right here is if there's going to be spawning and making beds right here, or they're sitting tight to this brush. Absolutely fun way to fish, y'all. There are so many different exciting ways you could go out and fish for pet for panfish, y'all. You can keep it simple. You can make it complicated. However you want to do it, whatever challenge you want to face, however much fun you want to have, just absolutely get outside, go fishing, and have fun. I appreciate y'all watching this video. There's a whole link of summer panfishing videos in the description below. 
There's also the playlist on my channel. There we go, y'all. Beautiful. Oh! If we can't get another one like that back. Like they've got that one up here. There we go. There we go. There it is. That's what we we're looking for, y'all. <laughs> That's why we came out here fishing with the popper. Oh. 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 Okay. They do not want to make an appearance today, apparently. But we, my friend, we have different plans. Look at that beautiful fish, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Let me get better sunlight for you. That is what we we're talking about. Yes, sir. Absolutely beautiful. That's what makes the popper so effective. Go get bigger. To see a panfish hit like that, I mean, that's a, that's just as good as a bass blow up on the top water, y'all, in my opinion. Absolutely fun. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy way to get out and catch panfish. The top water popper is not just for bass. It's for everyone. One of the funnest ways you'll ever catch a fish. Get outside, go fish, and have fun, and we'll see you on the next cast.